I was having a hard time just getting off the floor after playing with my son. It was getting to be a struggle just to climb stairs uh, to, to take him to bed. And these are things that you know you, you don't you sort of take for granted as a parent. You want to you want to do those things. And I, and I would not have imagined that I'd be sitting on the couch with my knee propped up with a bag of ice on it at. 32 years old. At the age of four, my family doctor found that I had a heart defect called aortic insufficiency. And so all growing up, I knew that I would need to have surgery at some point. Um, but it happened a little sooner than we had anticipated. Uh, right after my 22nd birthday, my cardiologist told me that it would be necessary to go in and have my aortic valve replaced. Luckily, my doctor was very forward thinking, knowing how active of a life I'd led and how much we wanted children. So he suggested that we do a human tissue valve. So um, through the generosity of a family that I'll, I'll never know, um, I was given this new lease on life. I think about that family all the time. And um, I think the hardest thing as a recipient is that you know someone had to suffer for you um, to be so blessed. My son Stephen was 26 years of age. He ran into some unsavory characters and um, one thing led to another and long story short, my son was shot. He along with two other people. My son didn't survive his injuries. On that day, Stephen became a tissue donor. Allowing Stephen to be a donor, fulfilling his wishes, was one of the best things that I could possibly do. It meant the world not only to myself, but to my entire family. We couldn't change the loss, we couldn't bring him back, but we could fulfill his wishes by helping other people. Our son lived in New York, and it was Memorial Day weekend, and we got a phone call indicating that he had been struck by an automobile while he was on his bicycle going to the store. It was about 5.30 in the morning, and I looked at Ken and I said, Don's gone. And he had actually, on his Ohio driver's license, made a decision to be an organ, eye, and tissue donor and had registered through the Driver's License Bureau. So it, it, we shared that with them in New York and said, I don't care what you need to do, you need to make this happen. You know, it sounds somewhat trite, knowing that good comes out of bad, but that truly is what happened. You're redefining someone's death by the opportunity to share life or life-enhancing gifts to someone else. We're all here for a larger purpose. And CTS is the orga an organization that is one of those linchpins to, to doing something more. We're right in the middle of, of this, I think, chain between a tragedy that happens and then a miracle that happens on the other end and it's our job to make sure that 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 happens we're that middle link in that in that chain of life really since its founding in 1986 community tissue services has grown from a local tissue bank serving the dayton area to become the nation's fifth largest provider of tissue with branches in toledo indianapolis portland fort worth fresno memphis and philadelphia Every year, Community Tissue Services provides more than 150,000 tissue grafts, all of which are processed at our Dayton headquarters before being distributed to recipients across the country and around the world. Well, I was on my way home from work. A 16-year-old girl turned left in front of me on a county road. I swerved. She didn't stop. She hit me, forced me off the road and I wound up trapped in a burning Jeep for about 20 minutes. Next thing I knew, I was waking up in a hospital bed. It was five and a half weeks later. Uh, I'd lost both of my legs as a result of the fire. A burn victim has lost the outer coat of their body, and therefore fluids can leave. Electrolytes then get imbalanced, and infection can get in. So putting the skin graft over it absolutely can save their life. The infections that I had were killing me. I would not have survived if they hadn't had tissue available to graft onto my legs to cover those wounds. I, I would have died within probably days. Skin's a very special thing to us because it is life-saving. We 
provide skin all over the United States to burn centers. And, um, and it's also one of those things that's in, in high demand. And it's just we have to work very hard to make sure that we, that we have the, uh, the skin to provide to these burn victims or else they'll die. I mean, that's, it's very urgent in my mind. The human graft is the best option of a graft possible because it incorporates into the body, because it's natural to the human being, because it belongs there. I'm the perfect example of someone a hundred years ago who wouldn't be sitting here today if it weren't for the research that scientists have done. When we're able to give scientists the opportunity to work with this tissue and make it available for other people, we, our quality of life as citizens of this world is so much better. As one of the nation's largest providers of tissue, Community Tissue Services is striving to stay at the forefront of new technologies. Our new 94,000 square foot center for tissue innovation and research will include expanded distribution capabilities and 14 state-of-the-art tissue processing clean rooms to meet the growing demand for tissue graphs. It will also house programs which advance research and development operations and focus on providing the next generation of tissue products for surgeons and patients. The $4 million that we are raising through our capital campaign will be leveraged to create this $40 million facility. Please consider making a charitable donation to Community Tissue Services to help us save and enhance more lives. Each donation has a worldwide impact. You know, I tell people all the time, who else in the world gets to wake up in the morning and know that they get to go to a job where they are going to take care of some final gift, make transplants happen, save people's lives, make people jump higher or walk again. I mean, what an honor. And that's what we do here. The recovery time was short, the rehab time was short, but more importantly, I could do all the things that I want to do with my children. In some ways, it is a final act of love uh, because you are doing something for complete strangers. It's the ultimate giving. Um, and there's nothing more noble than that. And having the ability to give someone back their life, the ability to lead a normal life, is such an incredible thing. And CTS does it all the time.